everyone. Um, it's Rena. I'm back. Uh, just a day after my <laughs> vlog yesterday. Basically, since I have a lot more time this summer, I thought I would try and do more videos because I haven't been real consistent about that ever, so I think I might try it out. Um, not sure when this will go up. I probably won't do more than like one or two a week, but I will try and do something along those lines. I have no idea what what type of videos I want to make. I know I really want to do vlogs, that's kind of a thing I've been doing anyway. I don't know what you all are interested in seeing, so I would love to hear from you all on that one. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to answer questions, I guess? So this is just like a bunch of questions that are based on knitting, and if you all know me at all, you will know that I love to knit, and I love fiber arts. It's just my thing. Question number one. If and when I ever do get married, I want to make my wedding dress. That is my dream project. Like that's the first thing that comes to mind. Number two. Basically anything with alpaca that has elasticity, that's my favorite thing. Um, although one of my favorite, like, big name brand yarns is probably Bar Barocco Vintage just because it's really nice to work with and it's washable and it's not entirely wool and it's just, it's really nice. Number three. I think it must have been, like, 2002. Yeah, because I was, I was about seven or eight years old when I started to learn and I was really, really into it. Like, I was so into it. I came to school being all excited, like, oh my gosh, guys, I know how to knit and you don't and I'm cool. So, you know, that's that's never what I want anyone else thought of me, but you know, <laughs> a girl can dream. Number four, an embarrassing number. <laughs> I have a scarf going right now um, that has been on the needles like for probably a couple months now. And I was really not smart, and I decided to make a scarf that looks like an Enderman from Minecraft, so it has the eyes and the rest of it is black. Except I was smart, and I decided to do it in Entrelock and Seed Stitch, and it's taking for blessed ever, and it's like this wide, and I- oh gosh, that's on the needles right now. I also have a shawl that I've been working on from some of my hand spun, and I think I might actually just rip it out because I don't like how it's turning out. But it, I spun it in a lace weight chain ply from a silk and Polworth, or yeah, a silk and Polworth 50 50 blend. And it's in the colorway poppies, and it looks like a sunset, and it's really, really pretty. Number five favorite object to knit? I always find myself drawn to hats and like cowls. Even though I barely ever wear them, I love knitting them, so that's a thing. Number six. I don't really have a preference, but um, if it's flat, I really want to make sure it's a pattern that I don't have to do as much finishing on, because I really don't like to do finishing. <laughs> Number seven. Probably my evil twin. Yeah, because I've made her two hats, and I'm making her a scarf, and I'm planning on another project that she doesn't know about yet, so I'm going to keep that one under wraps for now. <laughs> Number eight. <laughs> I will tell you my least favorite weight of yarn to knit with is lace weight, even though that's most of what I spin. It's hard for me to make worsted weight yarn for some reason, but that's my favorite one to knit with. I love working with worsted weight yarn. Number nine. My mom taught me. She taught me when I was seven or eight, like I said. Yeah, I had just finished a swim lesson, and my mom had just brought the needles and yarn and decided to teach me how. And I remember at first, oh gosh, I would get on my mom's nerves so much because I was so afraid of doing the first and last stitches because they were always so loose that I, I would have my mom do them for me. And of course I'd cast on like four stitches and then just have her do half the stitches because I was too afraid to do them. And finally, number 10. I have so many needles. Oh gosh, I don't even know how many I have. I have so many needles. I can't even count them. Like, I cannot tell you off the top of my head anywhere near how many we actually have. Because my mom and I just like trade needles back and forth all the time. That is about me as a knitter, I guess. I think that about wraps it up for now. I will talk to you all later. Bye.